Healthcare professionals, physicians, and nurse practitioners, many others are at the forefront of the fight to improve the health of polycystic ovary syndrome patients. The disorder is complex, the disorders is common, but it's also heterogeneous. It has lots of different appearances. PCOS comes in a variety of different forms and variations, and many women have different factors and may present really differently. Some women may have, you know, for example, more issues with their periods or cycles. Other women might have more androgen excess. And so each woman has to be looked at individually for the different factors that are present in her case. We need healthcare providers to see the whole picture, the whole spectrum of PCOS signs and symptoms. Everyone needs to know about this condition. It is so prevalent, it's growing, it's complicated, and it leads to lifelong complications like cardiovascular disease, early onset type 2 diabetes, much higher incidence of depression and eating disorders. Those things are really, really tragic for women and we need everyone who possibly can understand and begin to treat more proactively to be involved, to learn, to get awareness, and to spread that awareness and teach their colleagues as well. The PCOS Challenge Annual Meeting provides an exciting opportunity for physicians who wouldn't normally come together, people from different specialties, to collaborate and understand the research and uh, treatment issues that each of us face. The research changes very, very rapidly. Um, every day, different studies are being released that affect PCOS. So when we come to a conference like this, we can get on top of all the latest developments and share information. Look at a multidisciplinary education on different aspects of PCOS, ranging from the dermatological concerns and infertility to nutrition and mental health. A whole wide range of treatment options are going to be explored and this is beyond the services that any one practice can provide. It's very important that we address polycystic ovary syndrome because so many women are not diagnosed or they're told that they have irregular periods and that the only treatment is to go on the birth control pill. And so it's very important for physicians and other healthcare providers to attend the PCOS conference because you will then meet lots of PCOS patients, interact with them, understand their concerns, but also gain new knowledge that will help you become a much better healthcare provider for women with PCOS. It's important that healthcare professionals attend this symposium not only for the education they will receive, but also to support PCOS awareness and to take a stand to show that PCOS is important.